Hey guys, what's up? It's Jim here, and today I have a new game for you guys, finally, and this took me a really, really, really long time to make. And I'm so sorry that it's been so long, but school took over, and everything just went to hell behind beyond that. So, here is the LEGO Faro, or Faro, submachine gun from Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So, this gun took me a really long time to make, as I said, and... I definitely think it was worth it because this looks just amazing. I love all the details. It was actually fun to make, but it, of course, it took a really long time. So, anyways, here is the stock, which generally sturdy. Um, it's right now in the collapsed position, so as you can tell, it does break. But uh, you just pull this pin. You can put it in the other side if you're left-handed. So you just pull it, and then you can retract it out. So you can have it at any position where you want it to, but it actually like stops by itself. There's a block in there stopping it, so you can't pull it all the way out. But when it's uh, locked in, it is really sturdy though, so at least good. Except it might break. For example, the cheek rest. It's terrible. Not usable at all. So I think it just looks the best when it's in that position. Here's a hole, which I have no idea what this is going to do to, to the gun at all. I think it is just for detail. And talking about details, there is actually a few details, but not too much in the back there. So, you can see it has some here in the front where the color colors change. Um, and actually, here on the screen, it says uh, burst. And this is, after all, an auto burst gun. So. That means that when you hold down the trigger, it'll still fire in bursts. Which I think is definitely really cool. So, the sight falls off a lot. Um, it does not hold itself on at all. So, it's just easy to put on again. So, here's the handle, which is very uncomfortable. Especially here in the back. Because, as you might see here, it actually marks up my hand and it cuts up a little bit, so it definitely hurts sometimes to hold it for too long, but overall it's not too bad. So it is definitely sturdy. Uh, I used the same technique as I did on my uh, Lego Glock, but um, this time no tape, so that's good. Here's the magazine, which holds 40 or 56 with extended mag. So it has quite a high rate of fire, it fires at 909 rounds per minute, which yeah, is generally good. So it's got the working trigger as usual, it is not yellow because I did not think it fitted with the design. It also has the ambidextrous magazine release, which are just these red um, buttons. Which I definitely think give a good look to it because I could not get it to work on this one. As you can see here, even more detailing. I think this is in like gas holds up there. I don't know. Here's the tactical rail, which I love the way this looks. I just love it a lot. And yeah, I think I'm the most proud of that top part <coughs> the most. So yeah. Here is the trigger guard, which is attached to the foregrip, which I definitely like this foregrip a lot more than a just a small handguard, but this is definitely really comfortable. Uh, I don't like using it like this. You still have a lot of space for your, your finger to be, but I just like holding it like this a lot more than this. It's kind of small, so. Here's the finger guard, or whatever. And I have no idea if this is a flashlight or a laser or anything like that. It just looks like that in the pictures. So, yeah, <laughs> I have no idea what it actually does, but tell me if you know. So here's the barrel right here, which the front sight is on. And talking about the sights, let's look at them. So I really like these sights. I mean, they don't have the, like the slopes like it's supposed to, but I still really like these sights. I think this is definitely a submachine gun that I'll use a lot in the game. I told you guys, like, the CUDA was what I was going to use, but I think it is this now. 
So here's the most interesting, or one of the most interesting parts about the gun, and that is the bolt and the charging handle. As you can tell, the charging handle has an angle, and it has a cylinder on top, and it can actually lock. So it locks back, then just a quick little pullback, hold it in place. So it does not lock up by that plate that you can see over there, up there that's opened, that is not the reason. So, you could essentially have this as a reload, uh, or you could just like lock it up, then take out the magazine and put in a new one. I have no idea what, which one is in Call of Duty, but yeah. So still, I really think this is a really, really cool gun. I, I think the front and top part looks a lot like the Weevil, um, but uh, I guess that's just me. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this gun. If you did, make sure to drop a like like you usually do, consider subscribing, and I will see you guys. Goodbye. So guys, before the video ends, I would just like to show you guys the picture that I used to base this gun off of, which is the reason why certain things does not look like it's supposed to, like the rounded part on top of the charge handle and all of that. That did not work because of dimensions and all that, and some some things just did not turn well. So yeah, I just thought I would show you guys real quick. So yeah, thanks for watching.